All right, in this video, we're going to talk about histograms and box plots. All right, a histogram is a vertical graph used to represent the frequencies of certain ranges or intervals. All right, so the thing with a histogram that's different than a bar graph, it looks like a bar graph, okay, but there is no spaces in between the bars. And the, it's also, bar graphs are for categorical data. Histograms are for quantitative data. And it's ranging, so like my first bar there is ranging from any number between 40 and 50. The next number is any number between 50 and 60. Then 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100. Okay? And then it's frequency along the vertical axis. A box plot or a box and whisker plot is a diagram using a number line to break the data into groups of 25%. It identifies the minimum, the maximum, the lower quartile, the upper quartile, and the median. Okay, so you have to have those five pieces. Minimum, quartile one, which is your lower quartile, median, uh, quartile three, which is your upper quartile, and the maximum. And then each section, it breaks it into four sections, each section is worth 25%. All right, estimating the mean from a histogram. The histogram shows the 2012 Olympic results for women's weightlifting. So they gave us a histogram, and they want us to find the mean based on that histogram. Okay, so we can't find the exact mean without knowing the values, but I can estimate it because I know that I have one person that it's a weight, women's weightlifting that lifted between 160 to 179 kilograms. So I have one person in that group. I have two people in the group 180 to 199. I have four people in the group 200 to 219. I have nine people in the group 220 to 239. And I have one person in the group 240 to 259. Okay, so I'm going to find the midpoint of each interval. And I'm going to multiply by the frequency, how many I had in that interval. So to find the midpoint of the first interval, my first interval is going from 160 to 179. So I would add 160 plus 179 and divide by 2 to get the middle number. All right, And then I'm going to multiply by 1 because I only have one person in that group. 160 plus 170 divided by 2 gives me 169.5. When I multiply by 1, I get 169.5. The next interval ranges from 180 to 199. So I'd add 180 plus 199 divided by 2 to get the midpoint for that interval. And multiply by 2 because I have two people in that interval. 180 plus 199 divided by 2 gives me 189.5 times 2 gives me 379. My third interval is from 200 to 219. So I add those, divide by 2, and I'm going to multiply by 4 because there are 4 women in that interval. 200 plus 219 gives me 419. 419 divided by 2 gives me 209.5 times 4 gives me 838. My next interval is 220 to 239, so I add those, divide by 2, multiply by 9 because I have 9 women in that interval. 220 plus 239 divided by 2 is 229.5 times 9 is 2065.5. My last interval, I'm going to add them up, divide by 2, multiply by 1 because there's only one woman, one woman in that category, or interval, not a category. 249.5 times 1 gives me 249.5. So then I'm going to add these up. I'm going to add up how many total women were in this uh, histogram, which was 17. One for the first category, two for the next category, four for the third, nine for the fifth, and one for the sixth. That makes 17. And I'm going to add up the other pieces that I got. I got 3,701.5. So if I'm finding the mean, I'm estimating the mean, I would take that total and divide by 17. So 3,715.5, or 3,701.5, divided by, oops, that should be 17. Divided by 17, not 15, should give me 217.7. So a good estimate for the mean is 217.7 kilograms. Alright, creating a box plot. 
So they gave us a, a set of numbers. My very first step would be to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So there they are, 15, 16, 16, 18, 25, 25, 26, 26, 28, 28. And then I'm going to find the minimum, quartile 1, the median, quartile 3, and the maximum. So I'm going to start with the median. Well, the median is in between these two 25s. So 25 plus 25 divided by 2 gives me 25. And then the quartile 1, if I look on the left side, I find the median on the left side, which is 16. Quartile 3 is the median on the right side. It's my upper quartile. My minimum is 15. My maximum is 28. So now I need to make a number line that starts with 15 and ends with 28. Okay, you could skip count if you wanted to count by twos instead. Um, you could do that. So I'm going to put a dot above the 15 for my minimum. I'm going to put a dot above 16, a dot above 25, a dot above 26, and a dot above 28. And I'm making it kind of float above my number line. So I just put the dots where I need it, and then I'm going to draw from my first dot, the minimum to quartile 1. I'm going to make that a whisker. From quartile 1 to my median, I'm going to start making my box. And my box is going to go all the way to quartile 3. Okay, so it's going to be a box from quartile 1 to quartile 3 with a line separating the box right there in the median. And then another whisker to my max, from quartile 3 to my max. Alright, and then each section accounts for 25% of the data. So 25% of my data ranges from 15 to 16. 25, another 25% 25 of my data is from 16 to 25. Another 25% is from 25 to 26. And then 26 to 28. Okay, and then my box makes up the middle 50% of my data. So a lot of times you'll be asked to answer questions based on the box plot after you've created it. Or given a box plot and then answer questions. All right, here's another one. I would like for you to pause and try this one on your own. All right, so the numbers in order are like so. The median is 2. My quartile 1 is between these two twos. So quartile 1 is 2. My median uh, upper, or my upper quartile is between 3 and 4, so 3.5. My minimum is 1. My maximum is 6. So when I make my box... And whisker plot, I start with a number line between 1 and 6. I have a, a whisker from 1 to 2. I start making my box from 2 to 2. So that's not going to be really a line in the middle of my box. And then from 2 to 3.5. So there's not going to be a line because quartile 1 and the median are the same number. And then I'm going to have another whisker on the other side going to 6. All right, now create a histogram. Listed are the ages of the first 44 U.S. presidents on the date of their first inauguration. So these are their ages when they were first inaugurated. So I'm going to make a box, or I'm going to make a histogram. So on the right, my vertical axis, I have frequency. On my horizontal axis, I have ages, and I'm going to break them into intervals. So I'm going to break them from 41 to 45, 46 to 50, 51 to 55, 56 to 60, 61 to 65, 66 to 70. So now I need to figure out what's the frequency of presidents that were inaugurated between the ages of 41 and 45. Okay, I only had two of them. My next piece is 46 to 50. So I had eight presidents that were inaugurated between the ages of 46 and 50. I had 16 between the ages of 51 and 55. And then I would continue to find all those pieces until I finished my histogram.